What is up, nerds? I haven't said that in a while. So after the 2023 summer update was announced and an actual hard deadline of May 1st was given to TF2 community creators, everyone in the mapping community went absolutely crazy creating some incredible maps. During that time, I decided to finalize a few projects on my own and even update some ancient projects of mine that I thought could use a little more love. I'm going to be creating a video here soon showcasing some of the absolutely amazing maps that have been pumped out of the workshop these last few months that weren't created by myself, but in the meantime I'd like to humbly present to you my personal offerings for the 2023 summer update. These are the maps that I've been toiling away, polishing since the announcement, and I believe would make a great addition to the game. As always, if you'd like to see them added, be sure to hit up the workshop and vote, favorite, and subscribe. Links to all of them will be in the description of this video. Oasis! Oasis is a payload map set in a new take on the Egyptian theme. With detailing and custom assets by Freya, we put together a really fun and interesting payload map. The opening area is a fun, open, and balanced start to the map that always has interesting fights, and the first control point is a choke point that isn't too difficult to capture, but provides some unique gameplay while maintaining a bit of old-school charm. We put an emphasis on height variation, especially here in the middle of Oasis area, which I've had a ton of fun fighting around. After that, it leads into the massive Sphinx finale, whose custom prop was created by Jukebox, and into the last area, which combines the Egyptian style with a brand new take on the spy tech aesthetics. I've always been proud of how this map turned out, and it was rated very highly in the 2018 TF2 Maps Connect 5 contest, which it would have taken first place in, but Frey and myself decided to step out of the running due to us both being staff at the time on the site. I've been chipping away at it since, and I think the end result is an extremely well-polished map that I would love to see get more play. All the assets created for this are available in Freya's Egyptian Assets Pack on TF2Maps.net. Overgrown Overgrown is a 2CP Gorge-style attack-defend map that originally started off as a TF2 Maps 2015 72-hour jam map, which some of you may have watched me create live on the stream from scratch. It was decent, but it honestly had a lot of issues in that version. In 2017, I joined forces with the modeler Pear, who wanted to help take a crack at detailing it, and we overhauled the entire map visually, as well as doing some major gameplay changes, including the entirety of the last area. Pear did a crazy good job putting together a huge asset pack, setting a new jungle-adjacent theme. We were going for sort of an abandoned, overgrown South American resort village feel on the map, and I think we pulled it off with the multiple bars and restaurants on the map, as well as probably the two prettiest spawn rooms I've ever helped work on. This map even features a rideable train route that opens up after you capture the first point, which takes you deep into enemy territory. It can be a risky route, but a lot of fun is fire pyro flank, or especially if you can coordinate a big team push through it. Again, this one has another massive content pack that you can also snag on TF2Maps.net. Shore Leave! This map was started in early 2016 as the payload map Prep Up. You may have even seen some of those early videos from me about it. From its base version, it had been planned to be the flagship map of the Frontline Content Pack. However, when we started the development, the Frontline Pack was a secret, so it had to be developed under a code name with some placeholders in the map, standing in for props that we knew we'd have later to work with. When the pack was announced halfway through the year, the name was changed and the map was developed further, including some major gameplay changes, and then on Christmas 2017, we dropped the full art pass of the map, which was done primarily by Freya, with another major area by Void. This one sat on the back burner for a while until we dropped an update to it this past January for some major bug fixes. The map features a unique tank payload card that even opens up a new route of the map after you capture the second to last point. Overall, it's honestly one of my favorite maps I've worked on and has some beautiful visuals, as well as a lot of fun and unique gameplay spaces. You can grab the custom assets for this map by going to frontline.tf. Brine. Brine is a King of the Hill map you've likely already heard me talk about as it's my newest project that I've been pushing, but I'm gonna briefly cover it anyway. This map is set in a foggy seaside fishing village, which is a surprisingly underrepresented theme in TF2. I really feel like it just fits well, and I'm amazed more maps haven't done it before. This map was previously called Trenchfoot, which was originally created in 2016, but our team brought it some new life with this complete overhaul, and it even now features exploding seagulls. We'll have the entire prop pack for this one up in the near future. Farmed. This map is a reimagining of my 2014 Summer 72 Hour Contest project, Probed. Probe was also the first place winner of the Mercs vs. Aliens contest on TF2 Maps and was later included in the game during the 2015 Invasion update. However, it was unfortunately shoved into the Alternative Game Modes miscellaneous playlist, which barely anyone plays these days. In fact, there's a good chance you've never even played it, despite it being in the game for the last 8 years. With the exploding aliens and abduction mechanic, it seems like Valve thought it was a bit too gimmicky for the main game, so I decided to give it a fresh new coat of paint and removed all the shenanigans from the map and created Farmed. This map features a 90 degree symmetry bend in the middle of the map, and a ton of interesting height variation around the point. I feel like it's an incredibly solid King of the Hill layout, having stood the test of time, so I'd love to see this version bring the gameplay back into modern TF2. Glassworks! And last but not least, probably the map I've personally put the most time into creating and testing, Glassworks. This is one of my early projects that got its start way back in 2013, saw a ridiculous amount of iteration and testing, and even saw some competitive Highlander play. It's an extremely lean and polished 5CP map that always seems to have a lot of back and forth and fun gameplay. 
The last even features one of my first collaborations with Freya on these giant hero props. Plus, breakable glass! Ooh, modern video games! Ooh, modern video games! And that's it. These are the maps I would love to be considered for the 2023 summer update. And if you agree, please hit them up on the workshop. All links will be in the description. As I said before, I'll be making a video soon on others' maps that have been added to the workshop recently that I feel stand out, but that is an absolutely staggering list to sort through. So if you'd like to suggest any that I check out, comment on this video and let me know. Shout out to these following patrons who have supported my recent endeavors and are helping me justify sinking more time back into mapping and YouTube. If you can, I'd greatly appreciate your support at patreon.com slash ueakcrash, where you can see some behind the scenes of the next projects I'm working on. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.